Hello, Elizabeth Eide. The next book is really for my first grade friends who have been learning about the life cycle of a chicken and also about the life cycle of a frog the last couple of weeks. So I have The Tale of a Tadpole. So we're going to be reading about all the different things that happen with the tadpole, and this is written by Karen Wallace. So we're going to find out the pond is full of dangers for a tiny tadpole. Will he ever grow up to be a leaping frog? We're going to find out. One of my first grade students even has tadpoles at her house, and I get to see them every time I video chat with her. They're very small, but they're getting bigger and bigger each time. The tale of a tadpole begins in a pond. Mother frog lays her eggs next to a lily pad. Each tiny egg is wrapped in clear jelly. And then this shows you a picture of the actual jelly. Keeps it nice and soft. Inside the jelly, the eggs grow into tadpoles. They wriggle like worms. They push through the jelly and swim in the water. They breathe through gills, just like fishes. So just like fish, they're breathing in through their gills. Many other animals live in the pond. Shiny goldfish and sticklebacks and great diving beetles. They chase the young tadpoles. A stickleback feels hungry. He opens his mouth wide. What do you think is going to happen? He's swimming with the tadpoles. The little gray tadpoles wriggle their tails and swim away through the water. A great diving beetle feels hungry too. His hairy back legs beat through the water. The tadpoles escape and hide in the weeds so that the beetle cannot see them. Soon a tadpole grows legs with tiny webbed feet. They have tiny little webbed toes, which is in this picture right here. That is the webbed toes. They look a little bit different than ours. Webbed toes are like flippers. They help the small tadpole push through the water. So as the book's going on, we're seeing the tadpole getting bigger and bigger. He grows arms with long, skinny fingers. He nibbles on plants and gobbles green pond weed. Half tadpole, half frog, he rests in the sunshine. His tail is shrinking. It gets smaller and smaller because what is he turning into? It's showing the stages of the tadpole. The new little frog sits on a lily pad. His legs are strong now. He can breathe through his nostrils. His skin is dotted with tiny gold spots. His nostrils are by his nose. Frog must keep their skin slimy. He hops back in the pond and swims for a while. Then he climbs onto a log. Another frog climbs up and sits down beside him. Why do you think they have to make their skin slimy? How does that help them? Now, full grown, he dives through the water. He's not afraid of the stickleback. He swims past the beetle. Look at the size of him now compared to the beetle and the stickleback. He's now finally bigger than them, so he's not as scared. In the pond, he watches and waits. What does he see with his roundy, beady eye? A fly lands above him. He creeps closer and closer. What is he going to do with that fly? But a big frog jumps up. It snatches the fly with its long, sticky tongue. The frog misses his meal. Next time, he'll be faster.
The golden skinned frog chases a dragonfly. It lands on a lily pad. Under the lily pad are hundreds of frog eggs. Inside each egg, a tadpole is growing. Each tadpole will grow into a golden skinned frog. So, did the book start all over again, where it started off as an egg and then grew into a tadpole when it came out, and then we slowly got to see how it turned into a frog, and again, at the end of the book, it's back into an egg. So it was showing the life cycle of a tadpole. I hope you enjoyed.